G'day folks, Andy from BFA. Firstly, I just want to say thanks very much for watching the videos. Please comment as much as you like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try and explain this as best as I can. Now, I see all these reviews on the market of all these awnings and they're set up, you know, outside of wind where they look safe, comfortable, and that sort of thing. Now, it might be a bit annoying here in my voice with the wind in the background, but I'm trying to do this as honest as possible, so. I don't think it's been done with this actual particular awning. The review I'm doing today is on the 30 second awning and I'm going to do it in windy conditions to show you that it's still a very good awning, it holds up to the wind, it's sturdy and I can still open it and pack it in windy conditions. Thanks guys. This awning is a 270 degree awning and it swings out like that. They go under the name of bat wing, ostrich wing, uh, fox wing. There's plenty of names for them out there on the market. They provide a lot of shade and for me and mine, you know, when you're on the beach out there camping, it's, it's freestanding so they do come with poles but you don't have to use the poles. It comes with one pole provided and you can buy additional poles on the website itself. Uh, so yeah, if you're on the beach camping or you're out fishing or you just need that little bit extra shade when you're camping If you've set up your caravan or your camper or whatever You unhook you take this out you go exploring for the day You've always got some shade and the best thing about it If you don't have shade at the time or the Sun keeps moving around you can get in your vehicle and you can just drive your vehicle To wherever you need to go to chase that Sun uh, chase that shade sorry. The awning itself is pretty versatile and it's made from a high grade aluminium steel frame with a nice big bracket that seems to be one of the stronger sorts of brackets that I've seen on these sort of setups. Some of them are really flimsy and they bend a bit. This one is nice and solid. I'll show you a picture of that when I do open up the awning. The canvas is water and rot proof and it's made from I think 270, 280 GSM canvas so it's a nice strong material and from what I can see the stitching and everything is quality made now with this awning I haven't had it for a super long time but I've had it long enough that I can give you a honest review on it my wife and kids are kind of short and when we pull up at camp one of my boys um, he's high needs and it takes a lot for us to get organized so instead of needing myself and my wife uh, to roll out one you know how usually some awnings take two people this one the biggest perk it's a one hand job it takes one person to roll it out and bring it all the way around and also one person to pack it up so that is ideal for me and my situation with my family but enough of me yapping on let's get to opening the awning i'll show you that it does it's a really quick setup and they call it a 30 second awning for a reason because it literally takes 30 seconds it takes a little bit longer to pack it down but it's still very quick in comparison. Anyways, let's get to it. from the struggle at the end which I had with my own cord it actually comes with a nice little cord that you put in into your little loops and it goes around and it'll hang off the back of an eyelid or wherever you want to sort of uh, strap it to at the back end I just had one of those bungee cords which I put over my uh, my jerry can I just throw that on and it's pretty much the perfect length and it, length and it keeps it nice and rigid for when I do open it um, so as you can see apart from my little personal error my human error this thing does open really really quickly one hand job anyone in the family can do it uh, the actual strap itself hangs down from that first point so you can just drag it along down here as long this awning provides about 12 square meters in shade so it starts from the side of the vehicle and it wraps 
wraps all the way around. You can see I'm already in the shade here, it's awesome. So probably the biggest point of shade is under here, under this corner. But depending on which way the sun's coming in, you know, I'm sure you'll have shade at different points over the different part of the day. And it comes all the way back here, covers the back end of the car, and stops here. And this is where my human error was. I was just putting my little oggy strap there uh, to the back, and I struggled to get that off the jerry can, so yeah, dig it. Um, it does have really good clearance under here. As you can see, like, I'm almost six foot, and that gives me another foot on top. It's really good, but that's probably just because the height of my car. Anyways, I'll open this canopy door. Perfect height. So it gives me all this shade. I can pull out, you know, the fridge, the cooker, and comfortably cook under that if it's, you know, raining or from the sun. That's just strap straight down. And see that they're only put there on a knuckle type joint. So the knuckle just clicks right in. There's a fair bit of wind about, and as you can see, actually, what I'll do, you can see there's a fair bit of wind about here. The awning's holding its own pretty well, if I do say so myself. So, I'll just pop this back in the joint, and the pole just twists down like a standard pole. And you probably do that if the weather or the wind was a little bit more hectic, but it's not for me at the moment. And I like set this up on the beach and it seems to be, you know, for me and my experience, it has held up just the same. Like I said, I'm in a lot of wind here and it's been perfect. Okay, let's get into something you probably want to see a little bit more. It's a nice strong alloy bracket that mounts over the top here. Just with some L brackets. down into the roof racks. Um, this strong metal bracket in here, where all of these sort of little frames peel out across, that's really strong. Really beautiful in there. As you can see, it's, it's really well made. Now, one of the good features and probably what helps sell this awning to me, apart from all the other obvious things that I've noted, is it's got this little pole up the top. Now, that just pops up like that, which provides all that extra height. Look at this, my hand's all the way up to the roof, can't touch it, you know, and that would also help for, you know, if it was raining or whatever, the water would just run straight off. And there's also these little strap bits on the sides, which you just pull down like that put them to a guy rope and a peg, and then all the water would no doubt run off. I'm pretty sure I've covered all the good points of this thing. Uh, at the moment, there are no bad points, because as you can see, it's, I've had it for a bit. It's still in pretty much brand new condition. It, uh, it looks great. It holds up to the weather so far. I'm in a pretty big wind, as you can see. You can probably hear this. I might not even get this out on the video. But she's blowing around a little bit and that's in high winds. It doesn't look like it's going to have any problems going anywhere. I haven't pegged it to the ground or anything. So, yeah, in my opinion, guys, very good awning. The price point was sort of mid-range. You know, you can pay up to a couple of grand for these things. And you could also go as low as, you know, I think it's about $500 on the market. This one itself was almost $1,100. And... Uh, in hindsight, would I go cheaper? No. Would I go more expensive? No. Because I am really happy with my 30 second wing awning and the price to me is fine. Yeah. I don't mind paying that sort of price if I'm getting a quality product. And the 30 second wing awning is a great product guys. So if you're in the market for an awning, definitely check it out. Um, I'm not here to sell it to you. I'm just doing my review, but I do think that some of you, uh, adventure seekers out there or you know the, uh, the four-wheel drive enthusiasts or or people that just need some shade for their vehicle for any sort of situation you might really like the 30 30 second awning so yeah cheers guys see you next time